people lost their lives. This after only six years since that Caribbean country was struck by a disastrous earthquake. To tell us more about how people are putting uh, the pieces back together is Haitian ambassador to South Africa, Jacques Barriel. It's good to have you. Thank you so much for being in studio with us. Thank you for having me. What is the state of the country right now? Um, I mean, it's a pretty uh, fragile uh, situation right now in Haiti because, you know, before, right before the, the hurricane hit, so we were going through the election process. So, um, and, and Hurricane Matthews hit in the south side of Haiti. The, so you have many cities that actually been wiped away. Um, you have the Jeremy, the south side of Jeremy, which is a big city in Haiti, completely wiped away. But now what people didn't see is that um, after... Uh, a week we didn't see that in the news but we had a flood just like you guys had yesterday but we had it like a yes. hundred times more yeah. um, harder so and and so even the cities that were actually uh, s be, that was saved from Eric and Matthew then got hit by the flood wow. so so it's it's a very tough situation right now for the Haitian people tell us about some accurate figures as to the devastation that was caused because as you say I mean you know we what we saw in the media and what actually happened are not necessarily the same thing right. unfortunately what was the what, what was the devastation I mean and death well, toll lives lost uh, people losing their homes well the numbers the, the numbers are still coming um, so far I know there's about a thousand and four hundred people that we can count that who died but I can guarantee you that it's much more um, than than will be counted for in the next couple of weeks um, so what I've said from the beginning is that you know the the it, it's gonna take about at least a few months to really understand what happened but so far the figures that we are having is that about over a million people who's now out of, of, of a place to stay um, there's about 28,000 homes that have been um, vanished um, major major farms are completely uh, ruined so um, hospital are gone and schools are, are, are gone and, and churches so basically the the fundamental stuff that it takes for the Haitian people to actually go on every day because it was already a hard place to be um, in the south side of, of, of Haiti yeah. now the the little bit that they had is now all gone what assistance are you getting? Who are, who is giving Haiti assistance? Well, I, we could we we have we, we are getting a lot of assistance. Um, in my opinion, I think the the problem is that the assistance that we usually get in those situations are not necessarily responding to the actual situation. So that's usually what the problem is. I don't think the problem is assistance that we are getting because people the people of the world are always very open um, openly. Uh, push for Haiti to, to move forward. So the problem is that where do you bring those helps? Yeah. Um, so far, we, we know we've been getting a lot of assistance in the uh, private sectors a lot. And the NGOs had a little bit of struggle to come in because after the earthquake, there was a, a little bit of you know cloud when, when it came to accountability. So people were a little less... Um, uh, uh, you know, trust, trusted um, the NGOs this time around, but the great thing about it is that the Haitian people are always welcome um, walk, always welcome any help that they can get. So that's why we actually started our own initiative here in South Africa yeah. called the Africa for Haiti and Solidarity. So what, what we want to do is we want to bring we want to bring to the Haitian people African help. So has we always go along, we see the cooperation between the North you know, to the south. It's always that. It's always we see the French coming, we always see the Canadians coming, we always see the Americans coming. So we decided that we were going to do something that will bring um, um, direct help to the Haitian people by African people. Yeah. Just very quickly and finally, we're we running into news time. Your reaction to Donald Trump as Haitians being elected as the U.S. president now? Well, we've always had a great relationship with the U.S. Um, for, for us, we just we we believe whoever is going to be there is going to is going to continue this this work. And I think uh, Mr. Trump knows a lot about the Haitian community. Has he's he he, he was a, a, a Floridian um, 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 resident, and there's a lot of Haitian living in Florida. Yes. He had a lot of Haitian working for him, so I think he knows the Haitian people a little bit. So we we hoping the the relationship between um, Haiti and, and and the US will continue fantastic good luck thank you very much for being with us here in studio and we do hope that uh, these relief efforts continue and you rebuild Haitian uh, the the communities in the country is once again back to uh, uh, where it was uh, Jacques Baril is the Haitian ambassador to South Africa thank you very very much well thank you thank you and I, I'd like to take two 
two seconds to give the website for people to go Thank into you. our initiative. It's www.africa480.org.za. Um, and as the day is gone, is gonna go, we're going to put a lot of information. We're going to feed you information on how to come on board and help and be, a, be, be involved in our initiative. Fantastic. So it's Africa 4. Is it the number 4? No, F-O-R. F -O -R. Yes. Africa for Haiti. Dot com. Go in there and you can... Dot org dot ZA. I beg your pardon. Dot org <laughs> yes. dot ZA. Dot org dot ZA. Go in there and visit that website. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. It